this is Simeon, and I'm so glad to be back with you to take you on another adventure into uh, what I call Sample Tech land. And uh, if you don't have any of Sample Tech's piano libraries, uh, you know, this might be the, the time to get, in, get on board. So the Vintage Keys Bundle is a collection of six different vintage keyboards and processed in some different ways. So what's included, we have the Solina Mark II, which is an ARP string synthesizer. We have the Pianette, which is a really uh, wild, uh, early uh, electric piano from Honer, the, the same company that makes the clavinet. And then we have the Wurlitzer, the Tube Whirly, which is a 200A Wurlitzer. And we have what I'm playing now is the Mark 173. And we have, of course, the clavinet, along with a tone wheel organ. And then, so that it just gives you a little bit of everything to, uh, to play with. So let's just take a look at the um, Mark 173, the tubed keys. So as we look at this, all of these uh, sample tech libraries, you need the full version of Contact to use these. And the interfaces are all always just, you know, they have a consistency to them. So if you've used some of Sample Tech's instruments before, this is gonna not, um, this is not going to be new to you. So um, we have just a lot of different ways that we can change the sound of this piano. And so let's just kind of get into a different key. And we can turn the saturation on. And the thing is, you gotta remember that, uh, that up, in this case is off. So when we turn um, when we turn the controls on, the toggle switch is actually, yeah, and you hear that saturation, you can just dial that up, that brings a lot of grunge in. But one of my favorite, some of my favorite controls are the chorus and phaser. And because instantly you have, uh, you just get that character. So here we go, I'm gonna turn the chorus on. just that just brings it brings it alive and you can adjust the depth so we can just make it really deep and the speed we can make it a little warbly maybe not that warbly but that's so cool that you can adjust that just lay into it and get that bark. That's really nice. And then the phaser, we can kick on the phaser there. And phaser is a little different than chorus. It's just got a little different uh, play it just kind of soft and then you can bark it. starts pulling you right in. And then we have, um, you know, you've got the phaser and then we've got reverb. And it's kind of neat to be able to put this in different spaces. And we've got uh, different adjustments for size. We can make that size and shape the color. Just some really neat things. And you've got to remember that when you, you can customize these sounds and then you can save them as snapshots. So uh, this is done with this little camera icon here. When you click that, let's just do that real quick. So I'll kick the phaser. 
we'll click the phaser on and we'll just call it phasey roads. So I'll click on the, the floppy icon and then let's just uh, give this a name, phasey roads. We can say save and then look what happens. It shows up in the snapshot presets. So that's a really cool way to save presets. Let's move on. Let's go on to the Selena, the Selena Mark II. And this is an older string machine from ARP, the, the same people that made the ARP 2600. And uh, so they created, you know, it was the time when these came out, they were uh, bringing out like string machines and that kind of thing to compete with the Mellotrons. And, and uh, so it's, it's really interesting. So what I've done here, I've loaded all of my sample tech instruments into the quick load area. So that way it makes it easy to get to. And I've got a vintage keys folder here and let's uh, load up the Solina. Really nice. So with this, we've got contrabass, cello, viola, violin, trumpet, and horn. And I'm just going to uh, just turn these off. And, and, and again, you can see that you've got similar controls. The GUI is a little different, but the, uh, the idea is still the same here. So here we go. Yeah, it's just... Just a really fat, fat sounding. Okay, now let's add the cello. And then when we've got them both together, of course they're gonna overlap and layer a little bit. And viola. Yeah. Let's turn that on. Let's see. And th this is dry. This is dry. So we're going to going to have some fun uh, showing you uh, some effects here. And the trumpet. I've turned the strings off so we can just hear the trumpet. <laughs> It sort of sounds like the strings, but not sound like the strings at the same time. There's just a different quality to it. And now the horn, like a French horn. It's got that really cool vintage nasally sound. Um, now let's see, let's, uh, let's just kind of layer up some of these. And I'm going to turn on, I'm gonna turn on the phaser. And listen to what that does instantly. Yeah, you get you get some crazy. And let's add some delay. So let's turn the fold back down a little bit. And you hear, you can kind of hear it going with the pan. Control over here that we can um, that we can use. If we want it to come in, we can just make the attack really long. Let's put the reverb on. 
And we can make that, we can put it in a really wild, large room. So there's a lot you can do with this. <laughs> just a lot you can do with this. Just just some simple sounds, but you could you could just make them uh, a lot of fun. Pull a lot of fun out of them. So let's go to the tone wheel. Just such a, a wonderful instrument. So let's drop this in. And it's it's like one manual. A lot of uh, drawbar organs they have upper, lower, and pedals. So this just gives you a single manual that you can uh, mess with. So let's take a listen. Yeah. Just listen, listen to that, uh, just that. And I just got the 16 and the, uh, the two and two thirds uh, pulled up. But, you know, I always think of tone wheel organs as early additive synthesizers because basically you're just dealing with um, different uh, levels of sine waves and you're just combining those and mixing those together. <laughs> and then of course we've got the uh, the rotary speaker just on the mod wheel And you hear that little little bite, that little that little high pitched uh, attack. That's the percussion. So we can turn that um, turn that volume up or turn it down because you can you just. So sometimes you just want just a little bit of that, just to give it a little cut through. And we've got uh, different uh, vibrato. Let's turn the, um, and we can turn the rotary speaker all the way off so you can just have the straight, uh, straight organ. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. And then we can uh, put the vibrato on kind of give some, uh, you know, before they had the Leslie, the rotating speaker, that's the only way we could get motion into these um, drawbar organs is with the vibrato. And we've got um, an amount so we can just really make it vibrate or we can just kind of make it more subtle. And then we've got like a limiter there, just, just kind of... just kind of tame things a little bit. And <laughs> the saturation, I'm gonna just pull all of these out here. And if you have a draw bar controller, um, I've got a D9X controller back here and you can actually assign these. Uh, you can learn the MIDI automation to um, be able to use these draw bars in real time. So that's kind of a, kind of a nice thing to be able to do. Yeah, now listen to how just so that's how far it goes. So I'm wanting to go down here, but that's as far as it goes. 
Now let's see, let's pull this. And you can just shape that tone and again, save that as a snapshot and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna turn the rotary back on and listen to how instantly that just starts swirling that. That's a lot of fun. Now let's put some saturation um, in there and a little bit of reverb. We got a little spring reverb in there and we can just saturate this thing. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is just, and you can make it as grungy. Just saturate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. So you can you can just have a lot of fun with that. So let's uh, okay. So while we're while we're kind of like in a crazy mood, let's move on to the clavinet. And so let me see. I'm gonna go back to my um, quick load here. Let's load that clavinet in there. This is uh, this is the clavinet. And just so much fun. Now let's see how far down this goes. Yeah, it goes down to this F here. And again, the same types of controls that we had before. Let's put on put on some distortion. We can drive that and change the little bit of dampening. And then we've got this hammerback volume, which is like the action. Now the clavinet uh, is actually like, uh, like a type of a harpsichord where you've got these plectrums that are, that are actually just, uh, just plucking those strings like that. Uh, that's what gives it such a distinctive sound. Now let's turn on the phaser. And we've got uh, these switches here change the pickups. Different pickup patterns. So just like you would have on a guitar, uh, it changes the tone a little bit. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna see if I can get a, get a beat going. Those pickups, 
kind of give you a nice uh, variation. And you get that nice uh, little kind of pop and reverb. So that's the uh, the clav, the two clav, which is so cool. A lot of fun to play. So let's do the uh, the Wurlitzer, the two Borley, and this is a another classic instrument that's defined just so much of the, our music history. Uh, another different little interface, different but the same in uh, in some ways. So now this one, uh, this has um, let's see, we've got sixteen. Um, velocity layers with these. So that gives you a lot of, um, you know, so it just doesn't sound stale. Uh, you have that that life and, and where you can take it, you can take it soft and go all the way into the keyboard. So let's just see what uh, this sounds like here. Yeah, you just hear that reed. And it's, um, it's similar to Rhodes, but not it, like a Rhodes, it's uh, it, it's just got its own character. And let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, we've still got saturation and delays, chorus, and let's put a little bit of chorus on there. So it's just got a really interesting dynamic range uh, in there. So let's um, turn on the phaser and a little reverb here. Stereo spread. Yeah. And let's, uh, and let's turn on a little vibrato uh, because that vibrato will just kind of let it just kind of go. It kind of sounds a little spacey. And let's slow the speed down just a little bit. Yeah. that fun so that's the uh, that's the Wurlitzer we're coming around the corner here let's take a look finally at the pianet and the pianet is a really interesting instrument from uh, the same uh, company that created the clavinet uh, gave us the the pianet so let's uh, pull this up and this is a totally different experience from the other interfaces that we have here let's just kind of take a listen to what it sounds like Thank you. 
Yeah, so the pianet, you can you can hear a similarity to the Wurlitzer because it also used like a reed type of um, tone bar situation. But just with a little different application. So we can adjust volumes for like the, uh, the key click, that's like a key release off the, off the pickups there. And then the, uh, the key releases. And then we've got like a little uh, adjustment for the velocity, sensitivity, the dynamic range here. And then, and then we can turn different aspects of the uh, cabinet on and off, which is kind of interesting. And of course, we've got the um, phaser that I've just been really enjoying uh, listening to. Um, and I just like that real nice sweeping. It's just, it's just lush. There we go. And now let's uh, turn on the chorus. And chorus is a, it just, again, it has just a different... Um, depth of course and now this is kind of interesting the stereo tremolo now now let's slow the rate down and what this does this just kind of just kind of pushes it around the stereo field a little bit just kind of panning it back and forth combining effects together. So that's a little adventure <laughs> if you will into the vintage keys bundle and again this is Simeon and make sure you get check out all the links in the description for more information on this amazing collection of vintage keys you'll have a lot of fun so this is Simeon stay joyful and we'll see you next time